Well, today is a super amazing day. Today I get to go camping in the woods with Deborah. We get to go fishing and hiking and, you know, swimming. It's just going to be a really great day. And at the end of all of it, <laughs> well, I get to have a sleepover with her. I get to cuddle with her all night. Heck yeah. And before the video begins, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I very much appreciate it. Oh, man. I can't believe today is finally the day. I get to hang out with Deborah at the campground. And I haven't been to the campground in forever. Well, it's been since last spring break, and I went with Dad. And Dad's letting me go with Deborah. We're going to be able to spend the night together and spend the night together with a girl. Not only a girl, but my girlfriend. I mean, I've, I've, you know, gone to the campground with Lindsay, but that's that's different. This is my girlfriend, and this is gonna be just incredible. I'm gonna get to cuddle with her, and you know, fall asleep with her, and you know, I, I get to wake up with her. I don't know why I want to do it so bad, but just laying in bed with her and waking up with her sounds so incredible. Hopefully, in the morning, I don't have too bad a breath. Oh gosh, my, my breath does tend to smell bad in the morning. I should probably bring some gum for the morning so, you know, while we're still laying in bed, I don't have to get up to brush my teeth. So, yeah, I'll definitely bring some gum. Where is my gum? I think it's downstairs. Okay, yeah, so you got to grab that. Everything else you have, everything's already at the campground. Dad helped you set it up this morning. Just got to wait for Deborah to get here, and it's just, it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. Well, other than the, the chewing uh, chewing gum and uh, the fishing rods, I still need to go get that. All right, so, yeah, let me go ahead and go downstairs and grab all that. And then, uh, well, I just got to wait for Deb to be here. And then um, we're going to be uh, driven off over to uh, the campground. We can walk over there, but um, I think Dad will drive us, hopefully, as long as he's still here. Yep, and he's still here. Hey, Eddie. So you excited for your little camping trip today with Deborah? Yeah, of course I am. I enjoy, you know, camping with Ryan and Joe and you and Mom and Lindsay, but um, they have their own things going on, obviously, as you have your own thing going on today. I do appreciate you taking the time off work to, you know, take me and Deb out to the, the campground. But, um, yeah, it's going to be really cool, you know, sleeping outside at night. With my girlfriend, <laughs> I'm really glad you guys trust us enough to, you know, let us sleep overnight at the campground. That's really nice of you. Well, just don't do anything stupid like run away like you did with Amanda that one time. Oh, no, I won't. I was, I was dumb at that time, and I'm sure I'll probably do something dumb eventually, but nothing like run away or anything like that. Uh, I, I actually enjoy living here, and I learned that that day when we were out in the woods. And uh, having food to eat and, uh, well, a computer and phone and clothes and, well, just honestly a house over my head. <laughs> uh, glad to know it's all appreciated. Now remember, behave out there and, like I said a minute ago, don't do anything stupid. I, I just told you I'm not going to do anything stupid. Well, I'm not going to try to do anything stupid. So, yes, I I'll behave. Oh, and text me or your mom letting us know when you get to the river, okay? And when you get to sleep. <sighs> Dad, you're sounding like Mom. We will, I promise. And wear sunscreen and bug repellent. Oh, did you hear about that tick that can make you allergic to meat? I will, Dad, and... Wait. Wait, what? What What'd you say? Yep, it's called the Lone Star Tick. It's been spotted in the area, so be careful and don't get bit. So, wait a minute. Like, it would make me allergic to all meats? I'd have to be a vegetarian? Well, not all meats. You could still eat poultry and fish. Oh, well, that's stinking terrifying. I mean, I enjoy chicken, but I don't much care for fish. Oh, my gosh, that is that is awful. I'm going to make sure I, uh, I spray bug spray all around the campground so me and uh, Deb can, you know, sleep peacefully. Don't mention this to Deb. I don't want to scare her or anything. Well, good thinking. Now, you go have fun and just don't have too much fun, if you know what I mean. Dad, you're going to be driving us there, and don't be weird saying weird things like that, okay? What? I'm your dad. I have to make things awkward from time to time. It's part of the job as a dad. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're going to be weird like that, I think it might just be best if me and Deb just walk 
to the you know the campground ourselves it's not that far so never mind i don't think i need your your car ride so um i'll uh, i'll see you at home tomorrow um love you and uh give uh, my love to mom well what about your sister Ugh. um if i die then you can give her my love <laughs> all right later kiddo <laughs> yeah bye dad i just gotta go grab the fishing equipment then i'll head off bye oh okay i only need to carry two fishing rods so this won't be too bad Oh, wow. Edward, this is beautiful. I had no idea we lived this close to such beautiful nature. I guess it's because I'm so used to seeing only the city. Yeah. Well, I've been coming out here since, well, I was, um, oh gosh, a, a few months old, I suppose. Probably when my mom was pregnant with me. Pop from uh, the diner showed uh, my parents this place. So, um, yeah, I've been coming here all my life. Well, it's gorgeous. I can't believe we're going to get to live here tonight. <laughs> Yeah, it, it should be really nice. Not to mention cuddling in, you know, the tent tonight. I agree. Oh, before I forget to ask, are there any snakes in the area? I don't like snakes. Well, in all the years I've been out here, I've, uh, I've never seen one, neither has any of my parents. But uh, as long as we don't make a, a mess when eating and have a fire at night, it will keep all animals away. I, the only thing I've really seen here is raccoons, but uh, the fire seems to keep all animals away, so snakes included. Okay, good to know. But enough about tonight. Let's start with our day, okay? So what's on the agenda? Agenda. Okay, so um, what, uh, what we can do today is, um, I wrote it down here, uh, we can go swimming in the river, uh, hiking, fishing, and I can even show you how to skip stones on, on the river. Skip stones? Yeah, skip stones, like uh, skip the rock on the water as many times as you can. Oh, I know what you mean now. Yeah, so um, what would you like to do first? Hmm, let's go fishing, and then after we get warm, we can go swimming. Okay, sounds good to me, cutie. I'll, uh, I'll get the fishing equipment ready. Oh, man, this is so peaceful and relaxing. Just the two of us. No fishing. Even if you are out fishing me. <laughs> the student has surpassed the teacher. Well, I suppose so. But um, th that's okay. Because I'm having a really good time. And also, I've caught the biggest fish. So you haven't surpassed me completely just yet, Missy. <laughs> I suppose you're right. But hey, I'm getting really hot. Are you ready to go swimming? I'm about ready to jump in with my clothes and everything. Yeah, no, it is getting pretty warm now that you mention it. But, um, yeah, let, whoa, wait. Oh, I got one. <laughs> uh, it's a small one, but I got one. Um, but yeah, no, let's not get our clothes wet. And, uh, I guess wearing long sleeves was a bad idea if we were going to be under the sun today. So, um, yeah, let's go put our bathing suits on and then we can jump in. Well, I'm down for skinny dipping if you are. Um, well... As fun and daring as that sounds, probably shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> this is a kind of a public place. <laughs> Suit yourself. We'll put our bathing suits on then. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm just saving us embarrassment in case someone stumbles upon us in our birthday suits. I suppose you're right. That would be quite embarrassing, but kind of funny too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it would be funny, but um... Let's save skinny dipping for another day, okay? Uh, now, come on. Oy. This day has been really fun, Eddie. I'm glad we've gotten to swim twice now. I was super exhausted after our hike, but it was really nice to look at all the beautiful nature. Well, I'm, I'm really glad that you've enjoyed. And swimming for a second time was well needed when we just got done with that hike, which we decided to go up that mountain, which was... Kind of miserable, <laughs> but it was quite tiring, so we'll sleep super good tonight. Oh, I agree. I'm going to sleep really good tonight. Oh, yeah, me too, babe. Well, um, now that it's uh, about to get dark, would you like to, you know, get out and start up the campfire? Maybe eat dinner as well? Yeah, I'd really like that. I'm glad you remember my fear of open water when it's dark. I always think there's a shark or something in it. 
even if it's a pool. <laughs> well, at least you know that it's a silly phobia. That's all that matters in my opinion. Now, <laughs> come on. I'll, uh, I'll get my lighter and we can get this fire started, okay? And then we can warm up by the fire and, you know, eat our sandwiches. Come on. Let's get out. Ugh. Those were some yummy sandwiches. Thanks for that. I can't remember the last time I had a bologna and cheese sandwich. It seems to be a family tradition to eat them when we go camping. A lot of my friends don't much care for bologna, but I, I think that's because, I don't know, it's just all these different types of meat. But it's mainly pork, but it, it's really good. I like bologna, and I'm glad that you enjoyed it. So uh, I thought, you know, with it being a family tradition, I might as well make them today too. Well, they were very good. But now I have a full tummy, and I'm getting pretty sleepy. Are you ready for bed? You're ready to go to sleep? Yeah, I could sleep. A full belly does make me quite sleepy as well. Well, then let's go to bed, but only if we can share a sleeping bag. Well, I don't see anybody around to tell us otherwise. Yeah, I, I definitely want my cuddles, so sounds good to me. <laughs> well, good, because so do I. Well, then let's, uh, let's get our cuddles in and then uh, get to sleep. Good night, Deborah. S sleep well, okay? Yeah. Good night, Edward. I love you. I... I love you, too. <laughs>